so hot today. It would be nice to drink something refreshing. Hey, who's at the bar today? Where is everybody? Hello? People? Yoink. Somebody? Do you have watermelon juice? Will Yoink. someone pour me today or not? Or I'll do it myself. Who will tell me what's the first thing to do to have some watermelon juice? Well, anybody? Mr. T-Rex? Mr. Shark? No? Shame on you. So, to have some watermelon juice, you first need to have a watermelon. But what if there is no watermelon around? The answer is quite simple. Everyone, concentrate, focus, and pop. We'll take water and a few delicious candies. Of watermelon taste, of course. Uh -huh. Let's get rid of the wrappers. That's better. <laughs> now watch closely and take some notes. We dissolve our candies in a glass of water. Oh, it is such a rich color. It looks just like watermelon juice, right? Let's try it. Oh, I can tell it smells like a real watermelon. <laughs> Roger, is that you? Of course it's me, Sammy. <laughs> so tell me, what are you up to, buddy? I wanted to drink watermelon juice, but you took my glass away. Oh, my bad. Let me treat you with the best watermelon juice you've ever tried. <clears throat> right out of this handsome buddy. Wow, Rod, what a job. I don't think I can drink that much juice. All right. Let's take a smaller watermelon, Dan. That trick was lit. And I will get the juice. Easy peasy. We'll make a hole right here. And what do we need to do that? Just this. Check this out. Let me aim better and... Ouch! It didn't work. Okay. I guess we better enhance our tool. You know, Rudd, I think you messed something up. Whoa. Hold on. We need a sharp thing, like his teeth. Rod? Meh, why bother? What is wrong with me today? <laughs> I'm not giving up easy. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Holy cannoli! Rod, are you okay? Roger, talk to me. Earth to Roger. Over. Over. Oh, friends, never repeat this. Now, my dear Roger, step aside. Hi. Ouch. Well, did I get it? Oh, please, say I got it. You got it, Sammy. Well done. And here's for your resourcefulness. What a Finally! Mmm, mm, mm, it is sweet! For the next step, we need this. Let's whisk a pulp inside a watermelon really well. Let me see what we've got in here. Uh, uh, nah, it needs a little more work. And I will show you one life hack. Check this out! Hey! Looks fun! Let me try! Sure! Uh, 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 oh, sorry, Sammy! Uh, a watermelon pig got into my nose! Uh, I'll show you! Whoa. You stupid watermelon! Nobody throws their piece at me. Uh, I'll show you. Take that watermelon pulp. Aha! <laughs> uh oh. Whoa. Oh no! Bring the glasses. I've got a cocktail umbrella. Don't fly too far, Sammy. <laughs> In the meantime, I'll make some cuts. We take this part of a plastic cup, place it on the watermelon like this, and outline it with a marker. Great. Now let's cut off the excess. Ooh, what did I miss? Nothing special. I'm almost done. Let me help you. I've got an idea. What do you mean? <laughs> this. Take it, please. Am I the best helper or what? <laughs> now we take this wonderful detail, insert it like this, and start drawing. <laughs> and done. Now the watermelon can see us. <laughs> What's next, Rod? Well, we can throw these out. Um, will there be juice Certainly. at all? Certainly. Here it is. <laughs> there. Back and forth, back and forth. Now the juice is not only convenient to pour, but also quite fun. Now the second glass. And the umbrella. So, are you ready to try it? Are you kidding me? I thought it would never happen. Cheers. Bottoms up. Mmm. Ah, it's incredibly tasty and refreshing on a hot day. Try it too, friends. Mm -hmm. Agreed, 100%. This is the best watermelon juice I have ever tasted. On this note, we say goodbye. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, wait, subscribe, wait, wait. and... You forgot? Sue has to do a couple of crafts, not just one. All right, we need one more then. Hmm, well, what else can we come up with? Uh... Let me think, let me think. Ah, I have an idea. Here's the scientific discovery called What Else Can We Do? Next slide, please. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, what happens if you bake a watermelon? Let's do this. I would love to check it out. If we had an oven. Shiver me, chatters. Then, the next slide. I 
said the next slide. All right. We can try making a watermelon sandwich. Or, and it's my favorite, a faster, faster. Okay, okay. My favorite option is to make this watermelon helmet. I vote for it. What do you say, Raj? All ideas are awesome, Sammy. But you forgot something. What? What are you talking about? Uh, okay, you didn't offer to make watermelon decorations. <laughs> what? Can the watermelons be decorated? Okay then, let's start with something brown. <laughs> Ugh, Sam, what are you doing? Is it a whole spoonful of chocolate? Ah, you're right. One spoon is clearly not enough. Let's add more. No, 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 <laughs> Sammy, Sammy, stop. Ugh. And some colorful candies. Ouch, wait, Sammy, wait a minute. And last but not least, rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. No one likes sweets more than you. <laughs> All right, it was just a joke, friends. Let me clean it up here. What, you didn't like my decor? Actually, I was talking about something else. <laughs> Miss me. <laughs> I think we should make decorations from watermelons. What do you say? Holy cannoli, I love this idea. Great, then choose a watermelon. Choose one, but they're the same. Not at all. I will show you now. This watermelon is dark green with light green stripes. And this one is light green with dark green stripes. But which one is better? This one. I'm not sure. Then this oh. one. Huh? So, Sammy, which watermelon did you choose? This one. <laughs> and you deal with those two yourself. <laughs> and why am I not surprised? <laughs> <laughs> not today, you green. Kia! So, what's next, huh? You have to choose one of the... Oh, no, not again! Just kidding. <laughs> you know what, comedian? Take charge of your own craft, and I'll make mine. Fine, I don't mind. So the first thing we'll do is a palm tree. And then there's the teddy bear. You can use any cookie cutter's friend. The main thing is that everything fits. <laughs> Check this out. I told you that there's such a thing as a watermelon sandwich. Wow, let me see that. Now we'll just remove the excess and enjoy these nice watermelon decorations. I doubt that you've tried a watermelon dinosaur before. <laughs> and this is what else we've got. So what do you say, Sammy? Shiver me cheddars. Wow! It's like the watermelon like this video. <laughs> Don't forget to do that too. And here is how you can decorate your glass with tasty watermelon juice. It's great, right? Delicious and beautiful. What more do you need on a hot day, right? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look! We're in South Africa. What an amazing view. Let's have a look around. And do some shopping. I just bought Scrap as a present. Now, it's very delicate, so it's been wrapped in tissue paper to protect it. Tissue paper is really useful stuff. And it's just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Try recycling scraps of paper to make a colourful letter picture. Let's make it! <laughs> now, we'll need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. <laughs> Hello, mini makers. Now, who's going to help me today? Hi, Mr. Maker. I'm Masuli. Oh, hello, Masuli. I can help you. Oh, that's good news. Everyone else, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Masuli is on her way to help us make our picture. But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. Excellent. The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we just need some arty things to help us make our picture. Oh, look. Here's the present that I bought scraps earlier. And inside here is some tissue paper. But I think I might need more paper than this. Great. Lots of different types of paper. Some scissors and a ruler. A rubber and some pencils. And last but not least, of course, we'll need a feather duster. A feather duster? We... Scraps, what are you doing here? See, look, 
We don't need a feather duster at the moment. So take that back, please. What we do need is a glue stick. Off you go. Oh, well done. That's just what we need. Thank you. And look here. I bought you a present. I know it's exciting, isn't it? Now, here we are. Take this. Now, this is very delicate. So be careful not to break it. Scraps. Never mind. Look what we've got here. It's a glue stick. Excellent. We've got everything we need. Although, it does feel like something's missing. Do you know what it is? Mm. Um, uh, mm. Yeah, I'm Mr. Maker. Masuli, of course, it's you, my friend. It's great to see you, and you're just in time to help me make our picture. It's a colourful paper letter picture. So, Masuli, are you ready? Yes. Good. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is draw a big letter on a big piece of paper or card. Now, you can draw whatever letter you like, but this is a big M for Mr Maker. Now, we need to fatten out this letter with the help of a ruler. Could you pass me a ruler, please, Masuli? Thank you very much. Now we use a rubber to rub out the M in the middle. OK, Masuli. There, we've got a fat letter M shape. And now we're going to colour this in using scraps of paper and tissue paper. Can you choose some paper or tissue for me, please, Masuli? And can you put some glue on it as well? Great. Thank you. Let's stick it down. Carry on sticking scraps all over your letter and don't worry if you go over the lines. It's time now to cut out our letter M. I'm going to be as neat as I can and as careful as I can because scissors are sharp. That's right. It's great, isn't it? M for... Masuli. Masuli, brilliant. Now, to make our letter really stand out from the background, we're going to give it a shadow. So draw around your letter onto a dark piece of paper <laughs> and cut this out as well. We've got two M's now. We're going to glue them down onto our background paper. Masuli, you can help me here. Finished. Excellent. Can I have it, please? Stick this down first and stick the coloured M on top and slightly to one side like this. Brilliant. We've made a perfect paper letter picture. And if you enjoy that, why not try one of these other ideas too? You could make as many letters as you like and even add a brightly coloured shadow. Or how about trying a shape like this paper superstar? Why don't you try one of those ideas today? Thank you so much for helping me, Masuli. We made it! High five! What a brilliant, colourful letter. Well done, Masuli. Hello, everyone. Are you ready for an arty party? We're in the party pad. It's the perfect place for a party. So, let's get arty. It's the Mini Makers. Hello, Mini Makers. Now, my friends, are you feeling arty? Yeah! Then let's party. We're going to have a party and look who I've invited. The shapes and scraps. He's so excited. All the mini makers are partying too. But most importantly, we invite you. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's get arty. Everybody party. 
Let's get party, everybody party! Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, let's go! Scraps, it's great to see you, my friend. Now, what shall we make our party about today? Mm, you ever think about it? Have you got any ideas? Over you come, Mini Makers. Come on, my friends. That's it. Have a look at the screen. Now, we're going to show you some clues. See if you can guess what our party is going to be about today. What is it? Oh, and what's it covered with? Yes. Oh, what's that? And what is it? It's very... And sparkly, isn't it? And look at this. What's all that? And what is glitter? And I'll give you one last clue, Mini Makers. Watch. That's right, Mini Makers. Our party today is going to be all... Sparkly! Wow! Scraps, is that you? <laughs> I could hardly see you with that sparkly jacket. Yeah, I wish you had sparkles on my jacket. <laughs> yeah! All right, then, let's think sparkly thoughts and make an arty party picture. What should we use today, Mini Makers? Hey, Pa! What should we make a picture of? Well done, Mini Makers. Some great ideas there. And in fact, that's just given me a brilliant idea. Let's get Artie at our party and make an arty sparkly spider's web, complete with its own funny furry spider in it. But first, we'll need some things from... The That's right! Need some gloopy glue and some glitter. Some sticky tape, some pipe cleaners, and some fun fur. A fluffy slipper. A fluffy slipper? Doodle chew, we need glitter, not a slipper. <sighs> We'll need some card and some stickers. <laughs> OK, Mini Makers, let's get started. We're going to bring in some nice paper or card and we're going to cover it in gloopy glue. Now, it's a good idea to do this on a tray or some old paper. So let's get some gloopy glue. Here we go. Lots of squiggles everywhere. Now, this can get a little bit messy. So it's a good idea to put on some old clothes or an apron. There we go. We've got a nice squiggly, swirly spider's web. And now we need to make it a sparkly spider's web. So we're going to cover it in... Glitter! That's right, glitter. Here we go. Like the glitteriest thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I love sparkles. Me too, my friend. Lots and lots of glitter, and now we need to shake it off. So we're going to do that onto a tray. So we can use the glitter later if we want to. We're going to pick it up very carefully and give it a shake. What's it going to be? <laughs> There we go, you're right, a sparkly spider's web. Look at that, Mini Makers. And now we need to make a spider to go in the web. So let's take some fun fur, and I'm going to take these four pipe cleaners. OK, Millie, put the sticky tape down. That's it. There we go, it's looking good already. And now we need to add some stickers for eyes. There we are, and we've got a very fluffy spider. So let's add him to our sparkly web. There you go, my friends. Do you like our picture? Yeah! And now you're going to make your own arty party pictures. But first, 
You need to put on your... RTA <laughs> Because it's time to... Start the art! Very nice, Mini Makers. So, Fuad, let's have a look at your sparkly picture. Now, what have you used here? You've used gloopy glue, and then what have you shaken on top? Blue and, and yellow glitter. Not one, but two different colours of glitter. Well done, Fuad. You keep going, my friend, and make your spider. I wonder, has anyone else ever had any sparkly, arty ideas? Let's find out. Many years ago, there was a tribe of people called the Maya. They built cities filled with beautiful buildings and palaces. Oh dear, what am I going to do? The king will be so angry if I don't follow his orders. I want my palace to sparkle in the sun. But there was one big problem. Sparkly paint had not been invented. Then, all of a sudden, the builder had a brilliant idea. Eureka! Mica! He discovered that if a glittery rock called mica was crushed into tiny pieces, it could be mixed with a type of paint and brushed onto the front of the buildings to make them sparkle in the sun. So, when the sun shone on the mica, it sparkled in the sun. <laughs> Africa mica! The king should be very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy. Everyone will want a sparkly palace just like mine. I like her, the mica. Well, fantastic. What a sparkling success. Now let's see how the Mini Makers are getting on. <laughs> wow, Kylie, what have you made here? A fly in a tree. A fly in a tree, so we've got a fluffy fly with spotty wings. And what's the fly sitting on here? Branches. Very sparkly branches. Brilliant. And Mohammed, tell me what have you made here? He's called a fly spider on the world's wiggliest spider web. <gasps> the world's wiggliest spider web. <laughs> Where have you put your little spider? I put it right in the middle of the giant crazy web. Brilliant. And down here we've got a lovely little caterpillar. And what's that at the top? A tiny little butterfly wing so it can fly away and be free. A little butterfly. Beautiful. <laughs> Christiana, this is very sparkly. What's in your picture? It's an alien spider with lots of eyes and colourful legs. And what's this next to it? It's an ant that has been stuck to the web. Oh, no! Poor old Mr Ant! Oh, dear, it just... Oh. What's that noise, everyone? Can you hear that? It, it sounds like someone's asleep at our party. Who is it, everyone? <laughs> That's right, it's the shapes! I think we should wake them up, so after three... Ready? One, two, three... Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> Let's all dance with the shapes! I am a circle. Spin around, spin around in a circle on the ground. I am 
on a triangle. Clap your hands in the air. Triangles everywhere. I am a square. Everybody draw a square. Draw it here, draw it there. Everybody draw a square. I am a rectangle. Bounce, everybody. Bounce like you just don't care. Bounce, everybody. What's it going to be? Wait and we will see. A shape for you and me. I am a triangle. Yay! What is triangle making today? Can you guess? That's right, it's a sparkly wand. That was fantastic, Triangle. It's time to get back on the shelf. To make a cute capsule fish like this, take a plastic toy capsule and cover it with glue. Place it in the middle of a piece of tissue paper and bring the paper up and around it like this. Scrunch this piece together to make the fish's tail. Now glue fun foam shapes to either side to make the fish's fins. Then add stickers for eyes. And a smiley mouth with a pen. Brilliant idea, Scraps. What a cute fish. And you can make any type of capsule creature you like. Ollie, how did you make your fish, my friend? I cut fins out of bone. Oh, brilliant. So you made the fins of the fish? Yes. Well done, Ollie. Kirsten has made a very colourful, very funny fish. What did you use for the spots? I put two yellow stickers there, 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 and then there, there. And what did you use for the eyes? Googly eyes. Googly eyes. It looks great. Hello, it's nice to meet you. This is Addy's fish, and it is absolutely brilliant. Addy, how did you make the big mouth? I cut some fun foam and glued it on. Well done, Addy. That is a fabulous fish. You've all done a great job, Mini Makers, but now follow me. This way, my friends. That's it. Over here. Come on. Now you are about to make a brilliant party picture. Have a look at the screen and see if you can guess what it is. What picture are today's Mini Makers making? <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> what do you think it could be? That's right, a fantastic fish. And that sound is fantastic as well, because it means it's time for... Party, party, yeah! Yeah! So it's over to Party Cam to find out which Mini Makers are playing today. Off you go. It's Ria! Who's next? Let's find out. Go on. It's Angelina! Yay! And last but not least, go on, Party Cam. It's Thomas! Yay! Well done, my friends. You've been chosen for a very special party challenge. <laughs> Today's game is called Fish Flingers because, Mini Makers, you've got to make three colourful tropical fish. 
like these ones here. But the big difference is you're going to make three really big fish. You're going to make them on this big piece of blue paper using all of these colourful shapes. So, Angelina, Thomas and Ria, do you think you can do it? Yes! yes. I think so too, but you've got to be quick. You must finish your fish before Scraps makes this noise. <laughs> Ready, steady, <laughs> go! Off you go, Mini Makers. That's it, as quick as you can. Very good. That's it, make the big triangle. That's it, right, help each other. We've got the other fish to make, help Angelina. Very good, well done, Thomas. Very good. Now, where are we gonna put these bubbles? Quick, get the bubbles down, mini makers. Scraps back over here, Mini Makers. Wow, look at that. What a fantastic picture of three colourful fish. What a fantastic finale to our fishy party show. Well done, my friends. That was brilliant. But now it's time to tidy up. So get started, Mini Makers, and I'll come and help you. We've had a brilliant arty party today.